Welcome to an Achieving Science video. Within this video we're going to look at power. Let us first of all begin by comparing two different vehicles. Which one of these is more powerful? And why would you say it is more powerful? What factors contribute to it? Well, power. Power is the rate at which energy is transferred or the rate at which work is done. We can use these then to solve our problem. In this case, the train's engines are more powerful as their rate of energy transfer is greater. There is of course then an equation that links with power. So therefore, energy transferred equals power multiplied by time. Like with other equations, we can simplify this to its symbol. Therefore, E equals PT, where power is measured in watts, capital W, energy transferred is measured in joules, capital J, and time is measured in seconds, symbol S, or unit S. Now power equals energy transferred divided by time if we rearrange it. Therefore, 1 watt is equal to energy transfer of 1 joule of energy per second. Of course, we don't always just keep to single joules because the numbers can get very, very big. And therefore, we need to include other units and be aware of them. So for instance, we could have one kilowatt, which would be 1,000 watts, or one megawatt, which would be one million watts. There is also a second equation, where power equals work done divided by time taken. Now let's apply this to an exam style question. You're told then, that a crane lifts a mass to a height of 25 metres. The mass is 1,500 kilograms and is lifted at a steady rate of, for two minutes. What is the power of the crane? Well, first of all, write out what you know. You know the height is 25 metres, the mass is 1,500 kilograms, and the time it takes is two minutes, which is two multiplied by 60 seconds, equal in 120 seconds. Now, identify the equation. The equation is power equals work done divided by time taken. Work done equals energy transferred. This is the gravitational potential energy in this case. So remember, energy equals mgh for gravitational potential energy. So now we can input mass times by gravitational field strength, which is 9.8 on Earth, times by the height. Therefore, the gravitational potential energy in this case is 367500 joules. So the power equals this value divided by the time, which is 120 seconds, to give you a value of 3062.5 watts.